Hi folks, how's it going? I'm engraving this this door plate for somebody. Um, and it's a it's a nice practice because uh, lettering is quite hard and but these are you know on a bigger scale so I'm um, having fun. I already then did the outline with 90 degree graver and now I'm going to remove the background as you can see I've done on something on um, done on these two and now I'm working on the E and I'm using different uh, different sizes of uh, flat gravers and uh, from wider to narrower and I also have the widest one uh, in my my hand piece so yeah, you can see so I'm using these to get into the into the background and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of demonstration hopefully hopefully you can see it so if I spin this like this I think you can see it yeah okay so let's get down to the nitty-gritty I'm having a lot of fun and I'm learning also while I'm engraving this because you never stop learning when you're engraving so let me just put in my smaller smaller knife There we go. And you have to be real careful to go nice and slow and just go to the <coughs> to the border and not over the border so I'm trying to make everything nice and flat cuz I'll be stippling later There, that's nice and flat. Now let's do the other side.
Hopefully you can see anything. Oops. The graver just slipped just a little bit. But it's okay, I can correct that later. You have to go back in and back cut um, in order to have a uh, nice, uh, uh, nice dimension to it, nice clean cuts. Okay, so let's make a little bit more finer a tuning on the handpiece just to get into the details. And it also goes a bit slower, so more controllable. It's nice that I can adjust the uh, the, the speed of the handpiece, and it's real quick. I just turn the knob, and that's it. Hope you don't mind the music in the background. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I'm just listening to a little bit of jazz. Um, hopefully this video won't be copyrighted, so... I love listening to music while I'm working. It's kind of relaxing. I'm doing real nice. I love the way that I can work with this microscope. It's just... Um, I wish I, I bought it sooner because now that I have it, um, it's, it's really on another level um, and I enjoy working. Um, my back doesn't hurt. My eyes don't hurt. I don't have to wear the, the goddamn um, up divisors on my head and you know, all kinds of crazy. So now I'm going to switch to an even finer graver and I'm going to do the, the small, um, small line, what they call shade lines or I don't know what they call them. Thin one right here, so I mean, what I love about engraving is 
you know, you take your time, you do things right. Um, and the fun part is that you sharpen your own tools, uh, you make your own equipment, and then you can show your your product, you know, and that's what I like.